everyone welcome back to my channel I am so happy to see you again thank you for tuning in I am so sorry for the long break as some of you already know I am currently receiving my breakthrough treatment that is bone marrow transplant in the form of gene therapy yes so please kindly bear with me as mentioned in my last video before Thanksgiving today I'll be sharing some information about sickle cell patients these are symptoms of sickle cell anemia Two, how to avoid frequent sickle cell crisis and three how to recognize sickle cell crisis let's begin symptoms of sickle cell anemia in adults and infants as mentioned in the video that I have in the past sickle cell anemia has the cells as half of a donut or as a crescent moon as shown in the picture the first and noticeable um, sign of sickle cell anemia is the discoloration of the eyeballs with less hydration the eyeballs become slightly or extremely yellow this is also known as jaundice on the screen are some pictures of sickle cell anemic people with yellowish or jaundiced eyes. Because I got to learn at an early age that drinking a lot of fluids deter the discoloration of eyes, I ensure to drink less of water daily. I sometimes substitute water with milk a juice and um, I specifically drink apple juice orange juice or cranberry juice and sometimes I drink iced tea and recently I've been drinking much of it because it's just easy to access on the screen you will find uh, pictures of the discoloration of eyes that's the yellowish jaundice eyes According to Mayo Clinic, signs and symptoms of sickle cell anemia usually appear around five months of age, and this varies from person to person. Some signs of anemia are anemia. This is when sickle cell breaks apart easily and dies leaving the individual with few red blood cells red blood cells usually leave for 120 days before such cells are replaced but sickle cell dies uh, in 10 to 20 days leaving um, shortage of red blood cells also known as anemia without enough red blood cells the person with uh, sickle cell anemia cannot get enough oxygen to flow through their body which can cause fatigue periodic episode of pain called sickle cell crisis or um, like as a major pain um, sign when sickle cell shaped blood uh, cells blood blood go it um, causes pain Pain can also occur in the bones, mostly in the joints, and it varies in intensity. It lasts from it could last from a few hours to a few weeks. Some people have a few pain crises a year, while some have more than a dozen in a year. So, while growing up. I remember having a lot of crises. Some of them were severe, while others required hospitalization. Some adults and ad adolescents have chronic pain, which can result to bone and joint damage. 
and other um, injuries at the age of 19 my left knee was badly damaged that made me to well that made the doctors to fuse my tibia and femur um, bones and if you know me you know that I live that uh, um, was caused by the constant and frequent uh, pain that I had while growing up other signs of sickle cell are swollen arms and feet as seen in the pictures sickle cells blood flow that causes the swelling sickle cell sometimes um, damages the spleen causing the person with the uh, pain to be more vulnerable to infections and that's an example on the screen that is an healthy spleen and the other is a abnormal spleen doctors commonly give children um, vaccinations like antibiotics to prevent potential life-threatening um, infections like pneumonia <laughs> so please um, bear with me I might not pronounce the, the word right um, another symptom or sign is delayed growth because the body does not provide enough nutrients for growth a shortage of red blood cells can delay growth in children and delay puberty in teenagers vision problems may occur in individuals in sickle cell anemia tiny blood vessels that supply the eyes with blood can become clogged with sickle cells that can damage um, retina. Retina, that's the portion of the eyes that processes um, images and that can cause visual issues. <laughs> Secondly, how to avoid frequent sickle cell crisis. There are um, several steps that people with sickle cell anemia can reduce um, the number of sickle cell crises they have and this are drinking plenty of water as mentioned before lots of fluids are required to prevent frequent crises so you cannot go wrong by drinking lots of water or you know hydrating yourself water or drinking um, juice so if you're a sweet tooth like me you drink um, fruit juice and healthy drinks but no soda or alcoholic drink hydrating yourself and secondly avoiding places or situations that cause ex the exposure to high altitudes for example example flying um, mountain climbing or being in high altitudes that can trigger sickle cell crisis also exposure to low oxygen level like exercising too hard or you know being in competitions that can trigger like um, sports competition and um, bodybuilding you know all of those strenuous exercises can um, trigger sickle cell pain for me I keep feet by dancing that's that's my only way to keep fit adults with sickle cell anemia can um, take a medication that I'm about to mention but please please do not take any form of medication 
without consulting with your physician. I'm not a doctor and I will not be liable for anything that happens to you. So please consult with your doctor before taking any form of medication, even if it's over the counter. So adults with sickle cell anemia can take prescribed medications like hydroxyurea to help reduce the number of pain crises. Um, as for me, before I started this treatment, the bone marrow gene therapy trans transplant, I used to take um, hydroxyurea up until September of this year. And I would hardly have um, pain crisis. Well, yeah, maybe like once a month if I like stress myself then I I get um, some pain and aches but then I maintain this you know I maintain my health with hydroxyurea so as you know me I'm a Christian I am not you know ascribing credit to hydroxyurea I am ascribing all glory to God for for the health you know the healthy um, life that I have right now but medically you can take med, um, hydroxyurea to keep um, healthy and to reduce the number of pain that um, a sickle cell um, patient individual gets and um, also a child can um, also have it it comes in liquid form that's the hydroxyurea but please consult with your doctor first and lastly um causes of sickle cell anemia like um how to recognize it you can have joint pain in the form of a, a vascular necrosis i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but a vascular necrosis that's um joint pain um like in the hips no, head, um elbow shoulders so that is a um a sign of sickle cell um, crisis that you're having sickle cell crisis and secondly um pain in the chest or abdominal pain so that would be all for today i hope the lecture was not boring like the last time um and i hope i have not weighed you down with a lot of information i will see you next time in my next video have a great and restful week don't stress yourself <laughs>